The Global Peace Index measures the peacefulness of countries made up of 23 mathematical indicators, each weighed on a scale of 1 to 5. The lower the score, the more peaceful the country, and here is the data for Asia Pacific. Even though this does not reflect the current safety, many factors in the Peace Index score does apply to safety. So what do we know to be true? We know that all Asian countries, similar to all countries in the world, have a degree of safety concerns and also potential scams. Therefore, following today's tips will assist you in avoiding difficult situations when moving to Southeast Asia. Try to keep your valuables in a safe place, such as a money belt or a locked storage unit. Avoid handing over any cash without research and even obtaining legal assistance if the situation calls for it. Stay clear from travelling in remote and insecure areas if possible. Do not boast about any wealth or incoming cash flow. These tips may seem basic to some travellers, but over the years I've met many expats who could have avoided uncomfortable situations if only they followed the tips that were mentioned. Most trips are entirely trouble free. But, as life is not trouble free, no matter where you are living, at times there will be new situations. Expats are more likely to experience scams. Even though these scams are dressed differently, they all have a fundamental goal, and this fundamental goal is a financial one. So, here is the three step process that I teach to avoid scams while living in Asia. Step 1. Independent Research Social proofing is a strong influencer, therefore many scams use fake and misleading social proofing to gain victims' trust. For example, with the right technology and a few days, you could create a website with hundreds of different reviews and appear legitimate. Thus, external and independent research is essential. Step 2 gain legal and or professional guidance. For example, if you are purchasing a condominium, it's essential to get in contact with a legal professional. It's always wise to find your own professional rather than the professional that the business is offering. Step 3 take your time. Most scammers become impatient very quickly, and on the flip side, most genuine people will not be impatient and angry if you need some extra time to think about things, so it's often a red flag if someone becomes impatient and aggressive. If you can follow the local laws and apply these tips and tricks we talked about today, you will likely have no issues whatsoever. I've added some further resources into the description for those who are looking for some additional reading.